Hi, good afternoon. This is Thorn Holder from Green Designs. Um, good day. It's always a pleasure to sit with you and to talk with you. Today, I want to introduce a new concept to you. And uh, I want you to think about it. Really think about it. The concept is about science, okay? How we use that word, what does it mean? Do a quick search here for you. Just to show you that this is real time. You can do it yourself to see what the latest science definition. Alrighty. <clears throat> science. The intellectual and practical activity encompassing the sy systematic study and structure of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment okay now two very key words here physical and natural physical and natural so when i use the word science i transcend this meaning but the same words could be used. For example, is the air physical? It is, right? I think it's physical. It could blow your tree down or your house down if I'm a big bad wolf. So I would say air is physical. Now, in the definition, in this definition, it does not say visible or invisible because there are invisible things that science could measure. Now, a very key word here is observation or oh, observation, okay? And that's where science stops as far as experimentation. Now, we have psychiatry, which leans towards observation and experiment but it's observation and experiment of the invisible. And the invisible is the human mind. Now, science approaches the human mind like, like a brain. Science, <laughs> I use the word science, you know, um, traditional science approaches the human mind through psychiatry and psychology as the mind existing in the brain, okay? Now, I wanna differentiate between the brain structure of the brain and what it does what's the purpose and the mind where is the mind located is it stored in the brain is it does it come about as a result of experiences so this new science and you guys can help me name it it is i will name it okay you guys can help me um because i'm doing the science okay i'm doing the Intellectual and practical activity encompassing the, the systemic study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. I'm doing that. That's what I, people say job or work, but that's what I do. People call it research, but I do more than research. I publish papers in the form of books and I have a company where the resources and the, the direction of this company um, will be used for understanding and pursuing the science of the mind and the science of the unseen mind the science of the intangible mind and this science en encompasses the whole concept of god okay because when we think about god we either think of god in two very simple ways one god as a creator and two god as a ruler okay so the ruler, that's the all-powerful side of God, okay? He's absolutely greater and wiser and bigger than us, okay? Um, the creator is, where did I come from? Where did we, where did things come from? What happened? How is this or existing or happening? What's the purpose of it? How did it happen? And they say, well, God, God, God created it, okay? God is fantastic. But we do not really go into what it means okay how does it work how does god work he clearly does not beat you over the head when you do something wrong okay the idea of heaven and hell we cannot experience that 
Well, let me rephrase that second sentence. It's not that we cannot experience it. The idea of hell, heaven and hell is foreign to us, okay? Just like death is foreign to us. And I use us, not including myself all the time, because some of these concepts I, I am in the process of getting better understanding. I never completely understand, but I, I'm, I get better understanding than the general knowledge or what they teach in school, okay? What the Bible teaches or what the Quran teaches. Like, it's a process of going beyond, beyond, beyond those uh, literature. So the science of the mind, I want to give those things different names because they have so much baggage. The word science has so much baggage. You know, some people completely believe in science, you know, and I call that the religious arm of science, where people just believe a scientist uh, because they said, oh, do test in the lab. Look at my glasses. I read a lot of books. Look at the MD. You should believe me. The earth is round. It is spinning real fast. Thousand miles an hour. It's going around this sun real fast. So funny. Uh, our physicists and our uh, NASA people and so on, they use a geocentric model, but for ages, as far as astrology, they use the heliocentric model, okay, where the sun moves around, <laughs> as opposed to the, the earth moving around, right? So how, <laughs> I have a clip, I will include the clip in this video or in another one, there's a gentleman saying, okay, the reason we use the, the geocentric model for astrology, it is based on the apparent and what apparent means it's based on the observable motion of the planets but science or nasa they base it on something way more complex than what we could observe let's base it on a theory it's based on some complex angles and rotation anyway so science of the mind this science is aimed at understanding the forces that perpetuate consciousness and the forces that at the subatomic level at the quantum level keeps things together this study also seeks to shed light on where the instructions come from in, in your DNA where the instructions come from in your cells okay um, and who wrote these instructions because when you look at your DNA it's like a map it's like a it's like a list of things to accomplish, like a list of, it's like a to-do list, to-do list for your body or for your life, you know, or for your heritage. Or it's like a historical to-do list. Like, this is what we've done. This is what you can do. You can also add to this DNA strand. So it's very complex, complex, okay? And it's much more than what we can physically observe. We can also naturally, and this is where I will use the meaning, uh, the physical and natural world. It is natural to have consciousness. So what they try to do is put, as I said before, put consciousness in the physical world within the brain. What I have done and other scientists have done, I'm a scientist as well, Dr. TH. Um, they have expanded the mind beyond the brain, beyond the head, beyond the body. Okay, because of the, the, the work at the quantum level, we see that uh, the mind and thoughts and things of an invisible nature uh, affect the physical world, the, the photons of light and the double slit test and so on. So this science seeks to organize and not to limit, eh? not to say, okay, we know this, boom, we're not going to know any more about it. No. This science is an exploratory science. Every human being has a different perspective. So we are going to use the word science just so we could garner a certain type of approach 